What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. Oh man, uh, I'm really enjoying this map. Oh yeah, so what do we got going on today? Well, we got a couple things. Well, I'm going to finish this field off, which we were working on yesterday. I need to store some grass, number one. I have got a field I want to harvest, and I want to buy a bigger tractor. That is what I want to do today. How's that sound? Does that sound fun? You guys want to join along? Oh man. We'll uh, finish off this. I'll show you what I'm doing with this grass right away here. It's getting late in the day, but uh, tomorrow we're going to do our first quick harvest. Uh, full, a true harvest. All right? All right. Let's bitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right. So I have pulled off the majority of this grass off this field, and I don't think I killed any of my sheep. That's always beneficial, right? <laughs> I uh, don't want to kill the sheep. All right, we'll shut that off. Um, I could have left that on, I suppose. Let's just close this gate. Did I pull it all the way in? I don't get this thing going, actually. Let's get out of here before I wreck this gig. Don't, don't hit. Nice. Okay, good. Perfect. So, um, the one problem I've had with grass is I don't really have a way of storing it really well yet. I mean, it's grass, so it's not like it needs to be stored. Ah, I can't see anything in the trees. Uh, it doesn't need to be stored anywhere too crazy, but I do want to keep a small stockpile, just for the time being. Just for our sheep. Um, I'm not too worried about the cattle quite yet. It'll be a bit before we get there, but I do want to get cattle going on this farm. Now, the nice thing about this particular yard is there's a ton of little silos. Well, not silos, but bunker silos that you can use. Even the, this little corner right back here. I don't know. I guess it's a parking area technically. Oh, I can zoom in. I can't see anything. I'm going to consider this a bunker silo. I don't know if you can actually make silage back here or not, but we could certainly drop our grass back here. So I'm just going to put that in the back corner. And uh, this is where I'm going to store this stuff for the time being. And we'll use, we've got a front end loader. We can, uh, we can use that to load up our trailers. Now, I am using the new uh, shifting mod. I always forget that i got to shift into reverse now. It's going to take me a bit to get used to that. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that there. And unload. And, of course, we need to pull forward a bit. Keep going. Come on out. This is actually a lot more grass than I anticipated. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be this much. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit higher up on top. This is a lot more grass than I was expecting. Holy smokes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this pile. Um, yeah, definitely was not expecting that much to come out of that. Um, wow, that's a, a lot of grass. All right, so, oh man. Anyways, um, still haven't found a replacement for this truck yet. I've got a really good idea right now, but we haven't got it done quite yet. But this isn't bad. It's still, this is as close as it can for European for me right now. We'll see. We'll get something going pretty quick here. I've got an idea. But until that happens, we uh, still need to get some work done. Now, I want to get a harvest. There's a quick field that needs to be harvested right off the bat here. So I'm going to get that done and get it off my plate. Uh, yeah, down this way here. Need to get our harvester hooked up, though. So we've got the Kloss harvester. This thing, I really like this harvester. I love all the Kloss stuff. I do wish there was more availability for it in the mod hub yet, or in-game. I know that they've signed a contract for it, but just haven't got it yet. Hopefully we get uh, something soon, though. Oh, my harvester isn't down here. What am I talking about? I forgot, that's just the truck down here. Where's my harvester? Oh yeah, it's up here. I forgot where I put it. You can tell I'm not used to the map yet. <laughs> there it is. I drove right past it. Uh, let me put this right here, right now. I don't know what to do with this little garage here. Do you guys have any ideas? Like, it's the smallest. Uh oh Let's open this thing up. It is the tiniest little garage. I mean, I could stick my truck in here, I suppose. What am I going to do with this little space? Um... 
Is this open? This isn't open. I think I checked this in the, my preview of the map. It's just a tiny little space. I mean, I could put, like I said, the truck can go in there, I suppose. I don't know. Um, and yet this one here is pretty big, but it's awkward to get into and out of. All right, let's let's uh, let's go grab that header. And uh, take it up to the field here that we got ready to go. Uh, I'm going to have to back all the way down there, aren't I? I certainly am. All right, let's go grab that. Yeah, this harvester is fantastic. This is the one good purchase. I'm definitely happy about this. I went a little bit overkill on the harvesters to purchase off. Um, I think we started with, with about four and a half million. That's what we left Southern Farming with. So I started off with that on this one, just for posterity's sake, I guess. I don't know. But uh, that was what our starting price was. So we got a decent harvester. Uh, we've got a decent tractor for the most part, but I don't have that high power truck. I do need a higher powered tractor for sure. You know what? Let's sneak through here. I don't know if I'd be taking my harvester down this road or not. <laughs> a million dollar piece of equipment. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. I thought it'd be a lot closer to the, the shrubs there. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, the tractor, uh, it's okay. I know there was, we had one comment about uh, maybe the, the dudes might not be the most accurate tractor for the area. There are some in, in uh, the UK, but they're not exactly the most popular, is my understanding. I thought they might be more popular there, but I guess not. But I think we're going to stay with the dudes. We're going to keep that as our mid-range tractor. Um, I still do need to get a large one, and we're going to be doing that today, I think. I need a large tractor. I need a high-powered 400 horsepower plus tractor, I think. Come on, get up this road. This road is so tiny. All right. Oh, that's where I want to go, right here. This is our field. Look at the size of this field. Wow, this is bigger than I was expecting. All right. This actually is not bad. Um, this field is ours as well, which we do need to plant still. We need to see it. It has not been done. So that's something that's going to be on the docket for some point in the very near future, but not today. We just don't have the time. All right. Drop that there. Let's see if I can pull in here and back her up. All right. I am loving this new shift shift uh, mod for farming sim. The I can't remember, the driving actuator or something along those lines. It allows me whoa to actually use my shifter that I have. That's usually for ATS, but I actually can use it now and uh, really kind of control my equipment with it. It's kind of nice. All right, so let's do some headlands. Let's fire this up. Looks good. What's cloths look like on the interior? Not bad. A trailer went in the wrong spot, though, that's for sure. Oh, wrong gear. Forward gear. Let's try that. All right, now, I do want to make bales if I can. There we go. Awesome. And game on. Love it. Look at that for a scene. That is great. Cool, guys. Well, you know what time it is. I think it's time we do a little bit of a speedy around here. What do you think? Let's go with a speedy. Alright, so I just went out down to the shop quickly and picked up our new trailer. I totally forgot to do this earlier. I wanted to pick up one of the uh, new auger wagon trailers. Yeah, let's see. I'll show you in a sec here once we get set up. I need to bring our rig up here as well. I've got to bring up the man. Alright, leave this right about here. Stay. Alright, so I wanted to pick up this here, the Argo liner with the auger. This is that new one in the mod hub. This thing like this. This just seems fitting for this uh, this job. And uh, we're going to bring our truck and trailer up top as well. Let's get this all set up. So my plan is to use the dudes with the Argo liner to pick up from the harvester out in the field. And 
then they can just simply... Oh, come on, don't be like that. There it goes. Uh, it can simply dump into this truck, and the man can take it down to, this, down to uh, the... Down to our silo here. Man, having problems with English today, apparently. <laughs> well, here's some planes going over top. I do love that. That is so good. Alright, so back through our farm. I wish the mirrors would be a little bit closer. That one's not bad. It's just, eh, when I'm turning, you can't see nothing. Let's see if that truck's coming anytime soon. There he is. <laughs> As he probably wrecks right into the back of me. Alright, so back up to our field now. We do need to, uh, to unload right away. He's already full, so I need to get out there and get this done. It's already almost 6 o'clock. Man, I need to get this done. Alright, back up the hill. Now, this little hill. Oh, man, see, I'm just looking at this. I wonder if I, what it would be like if I'm fully loaded with this, this tractor. I, I was hoping the dudes would be powerful enough to handle all this. It doesn't seem like it's going to be... I'm just noticing it on that last little little go there when we were trying to grab the grass off that last field. Man, that's, that's a lot. It's going to take a lot. <laughs> Alright, so if I pull up in here, I should be able to just look back. And we'll leave him here. There we go. Leave him there. And now we should be able to get in here. Oh, we could turn off that beacon. That's going to drive me crazy. Should we open this up? Oops. Uh, which control is it? Nope, no, no, no. This one here. There we go. That's the button I'm looking for. And back around the corner. Alright. Stay off the crops. We don't need to kill all our crops. He's been sitting here for a while waiting for me, too. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Excellent. So this is the 302. I don't remember what the size on this one is. Uh, no, it's not the 302. Sorry, this is a little bit smaller than the 302. That's right, the 302 has the front axle. But uh, I want to say 21,000 liters. I want to say that. So it should be able to handle, I believe it'll take two uh, grain bins from the harvester. I believe? Eh, we'll see. It's going to be close. No, nope, not quite two. We're already at 60%, so not quite two. All right, that's okay though. Not a big deal in the end, in the grand scheme of things. Let's end this in and get her going again here. Uh, oh, it's not on. That's right. The engine I'm hearing is from our tractor. <laughs> and away we go. How about now? There we go. All right. So I've got a lot of work still to do on this field. This is going to take me a bit. Let's get this uh, headland done. I'm going to see if I can set up a course play on this now once the headland here is done. And uh, just have him work away on this. That will be the best way for me to do this, I think. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first headland. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big jumps. Uh, wrapped up here. I've got course play set up now. I'm hoping that that will be good to go and I should just be able to let him do his thing now. Hopefully. Uh, come on. Get me close enough. Get me close enough. Alright, there we go, I think. There we go. So, that 60% uh, into this uh, this auger wagon is a full tank from the harvester. So, it's, it's not quite not quite two trips in here, unfortunately. I was hoping to be right, right, right at 50%, but unfortunately it's at 60 so I've got to really kind of keep an eye on it. No. These are some steep fields. Like, this is quite the incline over here. Oh, man, I always thought... From what I remember of this map before, in FS17, uh, I always thought it was flatter. But it's definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Alright. I am full. Let's let him go by. Let's go and do a tippy tip over here. Oh, man. Come on, get up there. Oh, she's struggling. She is struggling. Oh, we need a bigger tractor, guys. Man, we need to get something bigger than this. This is not going to do the trick for much longer. Alright, so I think I just made a bit of a boo-boo here. Um, I'm just looking at the height difference. I totally forgot how high this trailer is in comparison 
to this pipe on this uh, this auger trailer. This is a very small auger trailer, and I kind of thought it would fit, but just looking at this now, okay, that's barely going to fit right there. Now what happens when I do this? Yeah, see, look how flow that thing goes. There's no way that's going to work out. I would need a ramp or something in order to get this to work. Ah, uh, that is not fun. That's unfortunate. However, I don't think we're going to use a truck for this. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, I was hoping to use this system. This would work just so well together. This would be like the perfect little system. If it worked. <laughs> but it doesn't work. So, instead, I'm going to have to do trips back and forth. Uh, back and forth from the farm. That's all I can do. So I've got to make, I've got to climb this hill every time. Fortunately, when I'm climbing the hill, I don't have, I'm not loaded. I'm empty. That's the bright side. Whoa. Whoa, we got a lot of weight on this behind us. Yikes. <laughs> slow down, slow down. All right. Yeah, fortunately, like I said, we are empty uh, or on the way up. Otherwise, that would not be fun. All right, let's see how this is going to work out for us now. But uh, I need a better system, I guess, now. I'm going to need to figure something else out in order to get that to work. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. Oh, that's interesting. It goes back down right away. Huh. Odd. Anyways, we're going to load this, head back up. All right, that's a wrap. Perfect. Um, that's a good size field, actually. I wasn't expecting to have a field this size right off the chute here. That's going to make us quite a bit of cash. Uh, let's see here. Get us lined up as best as I can. Drop her in, and bam. Perfect. All right, let's get this hooked up. Let's head back down to the farm. You know what, guys? I think it's time we really figure out our upgrade spawn here. Um, oop, don't want to bend that all the snot, but oh well. Too late for that now. Perfect. Yeah, I want to figure out an upgrade plan for the uh, the dudes here. Well, not really the dudes. I'm not going to upgrade. I need something bigger is going to be my uh, my main plan of action here. Let's see, can I grab onto it? Oh, I can too. Nice. Jump into him and fire him up. And away we go. So I need to upgrade this guy uh, is really... I need I need something else. I don't need to upgrade. I just need something bigger. <laughs> I could use this for a multitude of things. But, uh, I mean, it's only 224 horsepower, I think. I definitely need to break pretty close to that 400, if not over the 400 mark. I think that's uh, kind of what I need to start looking towards. I hope he's following us. I can't see anything in my mirrors. We'll take her easier just to make sure. But so I need to go down to the shop. We're going to take a quick look around and really figure out what we're going to need. Uh, I've only got 700000 so this is going to break the bank, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Pull this in. Man, that's weight on this tractor. You can just feel it just shoving us right now. What's that harvester doing? Uh, he's right behind us. Perfect. All right, let's go uh, dump this in. He might as well follow us right in there. That's fine. If he wants to, he can. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's ready to go. <laughs> that, that was totally intentional. Perfect. So, here we go, guys. This um, was a bit more than I was expecting. But we're going to get a lot of use out of this thing. Uh, this has been my choice. So we're going to go with a class. <laughs> the, is it Zerion? It's Zerion, I think, right? The 4000. Oh, man. It was a bit of a toss-up. I'm not going to lie. I, I thought really long and hard about going with maybe a Fent. Um, there's a Fent that we could have gone with. It's just over 400 horsepower. That would have been pretty good. I think it's the, what is it? The Vario 1000. That would have been a nice one. Also, the Valtra. Uh, the S series, that one we could have got to 400 horsepower, but it would have maxed right out with the engine. That would have been around the three or 425,000, I think. Or no, 329,000. That's what it would have been. 329-ish. Now, 
those two tractors were both really good options. However, the class, I maybe decided to go with this. Number one, it was, well, it was a little bit more. It was 350000 I think, is the purchase price on this one. However, we have a ton of room to space. So that's that's base engine at uh, the 4000 series. is like 420 horsepower, something along those lines. However, we can go to the 5000 series, which will push us over the 500 horsepower range, which uh, will make life a lot better if we need to. So there's upgradable possibilities there as well. We already got a class tractor or a class harvester. I wanted a class tractor on this farm. Oh man, I love these ones. I'm, I, I understand I'm saying class instead of class, but that's just the way I pronounce it. I'm sorry. Ah oh, yes. Well, uh, interior looks good on this one too. It's a little bit hazy. I wish the window was just a touch clearer on that. But what do you do? All right, let's uh, let's head this back to the farm. So one of the other benefits of this tractor over a lot of the other mid-mount type style tractors is this is not an articulating tractor. Oh, man, I struggle with those. This one here is just a four-wheel steer tractor. Um, there's no articulation that happens. I find that makes life a little bit simpler, at least for me. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but uh, for me, I'd rather have just a little bit of more uh, ease in steering. And I find when you have the articulation there, it makes things a little bit on the rough side. But this one does not do that, so we don't need to worry. Also, this one has a weight option. You can see we've got a couple hundred kilograms uh, up on the back plate there. We've only got half of what we can put back there. If I find we're slipping a little bit, we can always double that up. We also have options to put doubles on this and tire weights. We've gone with the actual bare bones Teleborg right now, or Teleborg. We don't need to go anything crazier than that for yet. I'm hoping that the, this base uh, Kloss tractor will do everything we need to do, but we will see with time. Alright, pull in here. We'll go in the back way and put this away. Anyways guys, that is really going to do it for us today. Uh, you can see the sun is starting to set at 7 o'clock. It's time to get a bit of shut-eye. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you're not a subscriber, guys, don't forget to subscribe to be kept up to date with this new uh, Let's Play we got going on here. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.